Ladies and gentlemen, if you need to manage your host gates or emails in Outlook, I'm going to show you exactly how to get it done. It's quick and easy, so let's jump into it. So we're going to go right here from HostGator and um, we need to first get some information. So if we go from hosting on the left hand side and we go and look for our cPanel, we will find our cPanel and um, your cPanel homepage will look like this. You want to look for that email accounts, right? And this is where you'll find out what information you need. So over here, this is the email address that we would like to go and connect to our Outlook. And we want to just click on connected or connect devices over here. And we want to just come down over here. Now this box over here, this is some of the information that we need. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's open up our Outlook. So this is what Outlook looks like. This is the app. And on the left hand side here, you can see a list of our email addresses that are already signed in here and we're going to click on add account immediately it gives us the option to add in an account let's go and add it in over here so this is the email address and we're going to click on continue now this may take some time and for the reason for this is because it is actually um, trying to map the information that you see um, previously on this page over here. It's looking for the incoming server and outgoing server. So it's looking for that information. So let's just go back in here. It's now asking for our password. And if you click on show more, you can see a bunch more information. This is where we will now go and we will add the IMAP incoming server. So as you can see, it is still trying to detect that. and. In the case that it doesn't detect this information, we can actually just go back here where it says incoming server. We can literally just take this, let's use control C to copy, and we can actually paste it in here. Okay, you'll see, all right, that is the same. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the username and then the outgoing server again. You will just make sure that this is correct. So it's mail dot our email address and then we can just double check that it is correct okay so once this once this information is all correct you're going to add your password in over here so let's go and add our password and we're going to come down here and you'll see that there is an smtp password let's just go back in over here so from here, you're going to just make sure that all the information is correct, including the port numbers over here. So we've got 993 and 465. And over here, it's 995 and 465. So 993, 465. All right. So that is all fantastic. And let's just go back here. And from here, once all of this information is correct, you are going to click on continue. Let's go ahead again and click on continue. You'll see now that it says success right at the top. It gives you your email address and we are done. You can now go ahead and add another account if you'd like. But if you click on done, you'll find it right over here under the list of accounts.